Okay, so we kind of did stuff off cam again. First of all, we built a switch axe for me to toy around with, building the Kezu Axe 2. Then we took the quest, the secret ingredients, where we had to hunt and capture a Somnicant. It didn't take us very long at all due to our new switch axe doing so much damage. We attacked and attacked until we could capture her. We did it! After capturing the Somnicant, we got this special invigorating dongo. Which, I have no clue what it does. Then we took the quest Bzzz, or Zzzz, where we fight both a Kesu and another Somnicant. Of course, we focused the Somnicant first. However, we ran into a slight problem when we, when our good friend, Meggy, decided to join the fight. We first hopped on the Somnicant to bonk into Meggy to attack the Somnicant. Then Kesu decided to join the fight, which of course we had to ride him to. We then killed the Somnicant. That takes care of that. Yes, then we attacked the Kezu. Dying once due to my lack of awareness for my own HP. But then we captured him in a cave. After the hunt, we had to do the quest the hottest around, which is obviously me. <sighs> Jokes aside, we had to hunt down a Tetranodon and a Volvidon. Both being kind of easy monsters with some gimmicks to them. We hunted the Tetranodon and killed him really quickly. Before attacking the Volvidon, who gave us slight troubles due to his speed. But he didn't prove to be as much of a problem as Kezu was. Finally, we had to hunt uh, Kulu Yaku and Anjanath in noisy nuisances. The Kulu was the easy part, with him being our warm up before fighting the Anjanath. We used a Puki Puki to deliver the killing blow on the Kulu.
before running towards the Anjaneth, who was our most recent hunt. Sadly, my skills with Switch Axe aren't too good and I tried to risky dodge, which ended up ending my life. Thankfully, I captured the Anjanath right after my death. After we finished all of our quests, we bought a bunch of buddies and missed a small portion of a cutscene in the shrine in the Buddy Plaza. That about thumbs up all we did. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hey guys, Yons is here and welcome back to another video of Monster Hunter Rise. We did some stuff off cam, which I've probably now already shown. But uh, yeah, it was quite the hassle. Almost didn't catch a full cutscene, or actually I didn't catch the full cutscene, which made me a little upset. You know, what else? Fugen wants to talk to us. <laughs> Now that's what I call a buddy plaza. It's overflowing with buddies and we're overflowing with gratitude. Don't think I've seen Iori that is happy in ages. He's got his hands full with paws. Warms the heart. It really does. <laughs> What's more, there's now some Kimura themed buddy equipment over at the armory. Go check it out when you get the chance. Okay, so we can get that. And now, Fugen has another thing. Yeah, just a hunter I wanted to see. Why? Well, lately you've been doing going through quests faster than Hinoa goes through. So we just got more Kimura tickets. Which is true. We went through a lot of quests pretty quick. And we got these over here. Palico here. First, we got the stealth stuff. Pretty, pretty cool. I think this is armor the one cat uses, which is cool. Coolosis. Then we've got the Angina stuff from yesterday, which is an adorable armor set, mind you. And not a bad weapon. It's a full around upgrade. And then we also got the snooze, the Mystic Bell, which I think it's an upgrade all around. Are we using the Samnicanth weapon right now? Yeah, so this is just... All around a benefit. A buddy ticket. We'll do it. Just an all around upgrade for our cat. And next up we got our dog with the canine bell. Which we're not going to upgrade to that. This is the canine Anjanath set. Which I don't know if I like that. It's adorable. But I don't think I like the helmet. I think I like this helmet more. And then we got the canine trader. Which is <laughs> adorable. He uses Magnamalo scraps. Interesting. But yeah, it's a pretty cute thing. So that's what we got. Fancy, fancy. Now our cat's got a better weapon. And in today's video, we're gonna fight a new monster. A new Boyo. And I think we'll do Mitsune, who is one of my all time favorite monsters, hands down. Now. I was toying around with uh, the Switch Axe earlier. I upgraded to the Kezu. But I'm thinking we'll just stick with Bow for today. Just to get through a pretty tough monster. And good thing our chair isn't taken. Now let's see if we have a new meal here. Here it is. Invigorator. Invigorating. Reduce the stamina depletion when evading, blocking, or doing certain other actions. That's not bad. I think that's good for both. And Magna Roar. Prefends fainting. Yeah, that's already one we talked about. So we'll go with the usual still, though. I love that one too. You Here you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yay! 
We got all three skills. Okay. I think we're going to have an easy time. All three skills. Mitsune. Easy peasy. Now, Mitsune was in the demo and I did fight Mitsune since Mitsune was a monster I already knew of. So let's just go right in. Light blue bubbles reflecting the moonlight. Fragile and ephemeral, like flowers blooming at night. Traces of a creature, graceful in its precision. Noble yet beguiling, an entrancing vision. Mitsune is such an adorable monster. I love him so much. Honestly, one of my favorites, if not my favorite. Uh, well, you know what? All the monsters are my favorite. I say this every time. By this point, you guys should just understand. If it's a monster, I like it. If it, uh, it's just that's the way it works. I really hope they add like um, what's its face? Uh, Lag Geocris, and maybe uh. Nem Nemali N Namiel to uh the game. Hopefully. We gotta take one of those since I've got a little optional quest going on for them. And I've never really used them before in our videos, have I? The little helpers? What does he do? Anti Boa. We can try it. I imagine it's like a capture thing. Something that grapples the monster. Ah, we don't want a toy with you. We'll come down here. That was Nargakuga. Not someone we'd really want to deal with. And this is Mitsune. Someone we do want to deal with. And it seems like Anti-Boa just removes negative effects. Which is really helpful. We will move. And there are special bubbles that heal you. Special bubbles that hurt you. And bubble sad, uh, buff your attack. The one right there, that gray looking one, was a heal. Now you can attack the bubbles to pop them. Here, just like this. See? So we were able to attack him and pop a bubble that was coming at us. It's a good option. Anyways, I'll let uh, other me talk about this monster while I focus on trying to hurt. And love not hurt. You know? Okay, so this is the Mitsune. Or if you want to be fully correct, it's called the Mitsutsune. Uh, its title is a Bubble Fox Wyvern, which of course it's a Bubble Fox. Why wouldn't it be a Bubble Fox? It's absolutely adorable too. And it shoots bubbles. It slides around like a penguin and shoots bubbles at you. How is that not adorable? Its type is Leviathan, and its threat level is 6 out of 10 stars. So our little Mitsune is a really tough cookie. His habitats are the Shrine Ruins, Forest Islands, or Frost Islands, and Flooded Forest. Sorry, I read that wrong. His weakness element is Dragon and Thunder. Dragon being the least used element. At least, least used right now. We don't know if it's going to go up or down, depending on how many monsters come out, you know. His weakness ailment does not exist, since Mitsune is such a good boy, he doesn't need ailments. Uh, his weak spots to attack are his head, neck, tail, and his four legs for elemental damage. His head, neck, and tail are all for blunt damage and cutting and bullets. If you want to do the best, just aim for the head. The neck and tail are more like second right, while elemental damage is at max on four legs. Uh, that extending into the little finger for even more damage. His resistance element is water, since water is what he uses a lot, and he is bubble. So, you... I don't think you can wash the bubbles off of him. I actually never tried. Um, but you wouldn't really want to try anyway, since that would decrease your damage amount by a lot. Now, I do absolutely love the Mitsune. 
It is a really tricky monster, and you gotta look for the attack pattern that it has. I do find that it will slide around, and if it slides in your direction, that often means it's going to do some kind of tricky attack on you. Which I'd probably recommend just backing off for that moment in time. Now, I did love the Mitsune fight. It is a really strong monster. Being able to almost kill us in two hits. Two hits kill, since it takes us down to half HP in one attack. Anyways... I hope you guys enjoyed this hunt. Boy. Uh, mind some of these. Yeah, no. Mitsune's nice. He gives us a little opportunity to heal, get our stuffs together. It's just an all-around kind monster. Mitsune wouldn't hurt anybody. Nah. Anybody who thinks Mitsune would hurt them is wrong. Let's get some sleep ammo in again. I doubt we're going to get it off again, but you know, worth a shot. Slip. Sleep arrow is most powerful arrow for doing damage. Oh wow, we did get it off again. Okay. One, two. Just bop. Ow. Leave it the sleep ammo, am I right? What about paralysis? Paralysis ain't bad. Bop. I think having them asleep and doing the charge shot is just the best way to do it. Yeah. Technically, I wasted that there. He's going to do a special attack. We're just going to keep walking. We just... <laughs> I kind of like this. We move a little faster in water, you know? Look at this move speed. So long as we're moving, he's not really going to hit us. And look at this. Oosh. Uh-oh. Here comes an attack. Whoa! Whoa! Deodorant. Okay, no more slippy slap. We're good. Stop it. Don't show me your tail, that's literally your worst weak spot. I mean, jeez. I don't know if it's actually the worst weak spot yet. I need to wait till I get my character stuff done. Uh, why don't I just quickly, you know, eat a ration? Mitsune, stop. Stop it, Mitsune. So, pretty much my idea is just dodge and we'll be fine, right? Since hit hitting me does half my HP. That also looked like a powerful attack and I'm like, glad it wasn't targeted at me. Ah! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Thank you. Stop with those attacks, I'll do this so my cat gets buffs. I wonder what my stats are like with this. Uh, 60% crit. Oh, you're tired. Sorry, buddy. Whoa. Chill. Chill. Thank you. At least he knows what chilling is. Well, I'm right here. Oh, I thought he was going to get up a little more by the time that was released. Poison damage. We booped his snoot. Oh, no, well, he's taking poison damage. We aren't doing too bad. I think we can capture him pretty soon. Of course we're going to capture him, by the way. We aren't going to kill Mitsune. What do you guys want me to do? Hurt my poor little baby? You guys are monsters. Yeah, capture range. I'll go for a capture now. Whoa! We'll place this. One. 
too. Easy peasy. You know, didn't even think I was going to accidentally kill him or miss the trap opportunity. Not a chance. Look at him. He's a sleepy little boy. Look at him. Oh, is he purring? I could have swear I heard purring. Well, oh well. If Mitsune purrs, that is a good sign, right? Purring Mitsune is a great idea. That should be a monster. Purring Mitsune. Instead of just soul something Mitsune, just purring Mitsune. And we got purple fur, bubble foam, Mitsune tail, Mitsune claw, Mitsune stuffs. Let's just take everything. And it took us eight minutes. And we got a new cutscene. Not bad, not bad. Okay. And let's come over here and see what we can make. Have a look around. Uh, forge armor. The Mitsune armor. I like it because it kind of glows. Bubbly Dancer. Reduces bubble blight and grants increased evasion when inflicted. Reduces the effects. Oh. But how do we give ourselves bubbly? This is literally an anti Mitsune build. Free meal, free meal. Bubbly dancer. Huh. Or. No need to hurry. We could go. For the leggings. Which is evade window. Which is very useful. The l bigger your evade window is, the uh, more likely you are to dodge attacks. And I just want to quickly see if there's any Mitsune bows. Because if I can use my little precious Mitsune as a weapon, I will do so. I don't see anything that says Mitsune. Oh, there it is! More Mitsune claws. Mitsune fins. Recovery! It is a rapid shot. What you got? You don't have sleep, but you got exhaust, power, para. It's a little weaker, but it's got more oomph to it. So it's not necessarily a bad idea to go for it. Well, we'll look into that. Uh, is there a Mitsune sword? <gasps> Mitsune sword is a fan? I'm a fan of that. I am a big fan. Pun intended. Mitsune daggers? No. Mitsune longsword. Hmm. A Mitsune Longsword. Oh, there is a Mitsune Longsword. I was going to say it's a missed opportunity if they didn't have one. Mitsune Hammer. Mitsune Hunting Horn. Mitsune Charge Blade. Mitsune Charge Blade. Mitsune. Mitsune Charge Blade. Okay, enough with the Mitsune weapons. Uh, Palico Gear. Let's look at the Mitsune stuff. Ooh. That's kind of fancy. With the cat mask and a parasol. What about the dog? Oh, I like it. It's like a little Mitsune. I think we're going to make it. We're going to make the Mitsune armor for the Palamut. Mutt. Ah, uh, trade. Mitsune. Ooh. What gives this? Three. We just need two, so we'll do two Mitsune skills. There we go. Palamut. One. Two. There we go. Yay! <laughs> we got a Mitsune dog with fangs. Anyways. That's going to do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it at all, why not consider subscribing to my channel? It really means a lot to me and keeps you guys informed on when my videos come out. And while you're at that, why not consider clicking the like button and commenting down below what was your favorite part. Those also help me out and keep me motivated to make more videos. I'm Yonsis, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!